Here. Just this. It's not even up to one supply. Just take it to Wobo. He will understand. He said he has already settled the bill. Indeed he has. Okay. I'll be on my way. Mumu's business must be running down for you to ask for such a small amount of meat. Something tells me that Mumu got that meat for free. Machi? Huh? Or am I going to use it? I'm going to use it. 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 Carry on. I'll be with you shortly. I'm going to use it. I wonder what he will do if she fails to fall for three minutes. <laughs> yeah. It baffles me. Oh. It baffles me why Onyisi has sworn to kill himself over that maiden. What, eh? what does she have that other maidens don't have? Eh? Oh, I believe there is something he must have seen that a dickhead like you will not see. Huh? Mana, what about what? What about what? Okay. Please wait. Chukudini, you left your business. I would like to talk to you. Is there any mistake with the meat? Well, actually, no, well, well actually, yes. It, uh, it's, well, the thing is, the meat is not for Mwobo. I knew it, because I was wondering why he would order such a small quantity of bush meat. Well, the meat is, isn't for Mwobo. He told me that you were going home to see your people, so I decided to give it to you to, to take to them. <sighs> How was I supposed to know? I was straight into this. Anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate this, but I can't accept it. Why? It's just a gift. Come on. Chukudini, you are a noble man. I'm very influential. And I respect that about you. I have a lot of respect for you. Please don't make me lose it. Have I done anything wrong? It's just a gift from my heart. I don't want anything from you. I know why you're doing this and I can't accept this. I already told you I am not interested in you or any other man for that matter. Please respect that decision. And what if I refuse to respect that decision? I mean, what is wrong with being with me anyway? Am I that bad? Perfect. You know, I have those dreams every night. And uh, you and I are always happy. We seem happy. I have them every other night and I can't wait to make them come true. What are the dreams about? About us. You and I. Happy, together, playing. But it breaks my heart when I wake up in the middle of the night and do not see you beside me. It's funny. Yes, it is funny because I have the same dreams too. Really? Yes, every other day. <laughs> really? <laughs> this, this. This is a good sign. You two, let's make this work. Let's, let's just make this work. I mean, I know, I know you think about me too. And seeing me in your dreams, it's a good sign. Indeed, it's a sign. But I do not know if the sign is a good one or a bad one. But what I know is that I cannot be with you, Chukudinebo. 
Your refusal has probably made him sick. Sick? He's not well. He's critically sick. Critically? He was here a few days ago and he looked alright. I met him down yesterday when I went to get the supplies. Very down. And you didn't tell me. I just did. It's already late, I can't go and see him now. And who is asking you to go and see him? After all, you don't care about him. Life is this. What have I done to deserve this kind of punishment? You're making me lot. He possesses all the qualities I want in a man, but I cannot be with him. You are the one punishing yourself. Says who? You're the one stopping yourself, Echezona. You can be happy with Chuku Dinibo and you know it. All you have to do is just open up to him. I cannot open up to him, neither can I be with him. He's a noble man, I can't. He deserves someone better. Please, stop deceiving me. I am not deceiving you. You are. Just go away, stop talking to me. I don't want to hear anything again. Leave me alone. I don't deserve a man like Chukwu Dinibon, leave me alone, please. You deserve to be happy again. Do not stop yourself. Don't, I'll make a mockery of myself if I, if I choose to be with him. I can't, please. Leave me alone. Him. My lord, I came as soon as I heard. How are you doing? Hmm? I'm getting better. You shouldn't have bothered to come. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to say a thing like that, you put in there. You know how much I care about you. Eh? You know how. Oh, you put in me, woman. Hey, how do you feel? Eh? How do you feel now? I could not help but come when I heard you were sick. Sorry. Sorry. Um, this is your medicine. Have you taken it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, take it. Sorry, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Zara, did you not tell me that you are going to Agaba Abori? What are you doing here? What does it look like you've done? Are you not supposed to be attending to your sick brother? Are you not? Anyway, I don't have that. Yes. 
Hey, good morning. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm here for you, okay? I'm here now. Sorry. Have you eaten anything? I can quickly prepare something for you. No, no, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. I am being taken care of. Mm, by who? This was. Of course, you know they cannot take care of you like I can. Please, allow me, okay? Oh. Hey, hey! I don't want to believe this. I, I told you ladies that I am doing well to take care of you. My, my girl, it is on. Do you feel better? Do you feel better? What? I never expected you to come. Thank you for caring. Okay. <coughs> oh, can you imagine that man woman? Etches on her. Which woman bears etches? That is why I called her man woman. This is a sore on me. How could two cold in the stoop? So low, imagine. I mean, that girl is way, way below his status. Yes, 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 yes. See, we have to stop Chukudini. Yes, we have to let that girl know that she does not belong to Chukudini's class. We. Who are the we? Okay, okay. Assuming we stop her, who then takes Chukudini? Have you no senses at all? Would you rather he marries her? What is that? I, I was only trying to help us here. Wait, did you just say help us? Who is fooling you? Please, you are on your own. Yay! I hope it means that two of you have given up already. <sighs> okay, at least I have only that one bad method to contend with. why we are here. A rat always knows the owner of the fish it steals. In that case, I assume you already know why we stopped you. Hey! What did you just do? Mm. Buy one sailor. Tell her! Cheap stranger that sleeps with all Weibo's customer. Mm -hmm. Did you just raise your filthy hand to hit me? Did you? I'm 
answer now. Of course you will not talk. You will not open that your smelling mouth. Ukunu. You can do all you want to do. Say all you want to say. But I will not have you call me names. Hey! I will not stand here and listen to you call me names. Hey! <laughs> Finally, she opens this her stinking gutter god mouth to talk. If we insult you, what will you do? What? What will you do? I will not take it. Hey, Zara mm. one name. Mm -hmm. Biko, help me call this smelling rat a befitting name. Look at this cheap stranger mm -hmm. that sleeps with all men. Mm -hmm. You're not ashamed of yourself. Mm -hmm. eh? I will not run out for mm -hmm. If you open that your mouth to call me names again, I will deal with you. If you have issues with Chuku Dinibo, deal with it with him and not me. Mama. Ne. Ne. You've been carrying on like this for some time now. Without saying a word. It's it's nothing, Mama. Did he come? So why has he stopped coming? Mama, please. I do not wish to discuss Chukudinibu. Why? You've always discussed him. Uchechi, what have you done to scare him away? I've always warned you about your bad attitude. What have you done? Mama, why do you sound like this? What bad attitude? Chukudinibo is not interested in me. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. So it's true. You scared him away with the same bad attitude you got from your arrogant father. So what are you going to do? Hmm? Mama, please. Mama, please, I, I don't like the way you're talking. You're supposed to console me for this loss. But no, you are tormenting me. You know the risk I took just to get his attention. But, but you know... <laughs> Uchechi, why did he stop coming? Why did he stop coming? Convince me you didn't do anything stupid. That's all I wish to know. Every maiden in this land wishes to be his wife. We all fought one another secretly. And in the open. Little, little did we know that he had other plans. What plans? Maduka first told me, but I, I thought it wasn't serious. <laughs> Mama. Chukudinibu is getting married to the maiden that works at Momo's bar. He's, he's getting married to, to the maiden from Aki. A maiden everyone believes is wayward. The 
news is everywhere. But I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it despite the risk I took. Is it a crime to love and wish to love back? Is it, is it a crime? <laughs> I want you to look around. Explore the woman in you. Chukwu Dinugu may be a wealthy hunter, but he's not the only man around. I'm so glad. So happy that you do not know how happy you have made me. By agreeing to take you to my people. Do you know how long it took me to get you to say yes? We both know it's an honor to be called your wife. Yet it took you so long to accept. There's a reason. There's a reason I did all like. I have agreed to take you to my people, to know my people. But there's something I want to tell you. There's something you have to know. Something I don't know already? There's a reason I've been alone all this while. And that same reason is why I tried everything within me to stay away from you. You've already sworn to me that the love you have for me is very strong and nothing can break it. Chukudinabu does not do or say things just for the sake of doing or saying them. I love you. And nothing can change that. And nothing is going to change the way I feel about you. There's a reason I've been alone all this while. And that same reason is why I've tried everything within me to stay away from you. I'm here for you. Whatever the reason is, whatever it is, just tell me and we'll solve it together. I think I know why you are here. But for purposes of clarity, I will ask you to speak. Why are you looking for yourself? I came here as a friend. But the way you're sounding has put me off. I don't think I want to talk to you. Now, listen to me, you support whatever your name is. I am aware that you are one of the maidens of this land that have decided for first to use our senses. Am I right or wrong? Really? So you're supporting her? You know, most of the times when I look at you maidens of my land, I will start wondering if you suckle the breast of wild animals after your mothers have been. Why are you all behaving like wild beasts, all of you? Why? This is an insult, and I will not take it from you. Do you know what? Leave my face. As in this minute. Can you, can, can you, can you imagine? Hoglums that are calling themselves. Maidens of my land. I don't know what to say right now. I... I'm totally devastated. Completely devastated. I don't even know how to... I don't know what to say. Bye. 
Why it is on us? Why? Why? Someone approached me with words that were very difficult for me to process at that age. I got confused and he took advantage of me. I lost my virginity and I got pregnant. I had the baby at the age of 50. Chukudu Nili, please. I love you very much. But this is beyond me. If we get through this, I promise you here and now that I accept to be your wife. So hard all my life because I want to become king of Urunebo someday. But how can I take a woman who already has a child home as my queen? This is not even about me anymore. It's, it's about the good people of Urunebo. They will not accept this. Surely you won't accept this. What is up? Greetings. To Woodinibo. How are you today? Very good, very good. We're off to the bush again, hoping that the gods will bless the work of our hand. Oh, well, today will be better. We do. I saw you acting as if you left something in the house or you forgot something. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't forget anything. I'm, I'm actually going hunting. That's obvious. I was hoping to meet you at home. That's why I started coming as soon as I woke up. You were going to my house? Yes. I, you know how hunting is. I really need to check the traps as early as possible. You have been avoiding me, haven't you? Obi, what did I do? I told you everything about myself because I love you and I don't want to lose you. If there's anything you want to tell me, tell me to my face so I know my feet. What did I do? What's the problem? I'm not avoiding you. I'm not. You're not avoiding me. You can't tell me that. Look, when was the last time you saw me? You hardly even come to the bar anymore. What is the problem? There is no problem, Eche. And I'm not avoiding you. Why would I avoid you? You 
know how it is now. I've, I've just been very busy lately. <laughs> you know, I promise. I'll make it up to you. Okay? I'll let you go check on your traps. Mm -hmm. I pray our ancestors and the gods of our land crown your efforts as always. How many have you counted? Well, 13. Okay, okay. For 14. Ah. Greetings. Hey. Our wife. You're welcome. Thank you. Is Chupu Dunibo in? Hey, oh. Again, what about? Okay. Is everything okay? okay. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, actually, everything is fine. Okay, let me go and see him. <laughs> Our wife. <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, actually, only she is not around. I just. Yeah. He just told me he's. Don't mind that, Nakwenze. He can be foolish sometimes, eh? Exactly. When you see when somewhere he he left since morning. When will he come back? I don't know. He didn't say. <coughs> From the look of things, he will not be coming back today. Ah yes. He went with those two guns. Ah. And that other bag. Hi. Anytime he carries that bag, just give him two days. Yeah. He might not even come back. Maybe he tomorrow. Come back. Tomorrow. Okay, uh, I'll just go. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, bye. Right. I told Danny. What's wrong with you? I just. Huh? I'm going to say. You must be a fool. Why can't you make such a blunder? Yeah, she, 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 I, I totally forgot. Imagine. Count. Not come, come. Uh, why will Onishi tell us to tell her that he is not around? Be a blockhead. Go in there and ask. And you find out. Why is it? You're not a warrior. Count, my friend. 14, 14. 15. 15, okay. 15. doing everything to avoid me. But you told me he said he's been very busy. I don't think so. He's always been a very busy person, but always had time. But it is possible something came up that kept him very busy. Be patient with him. I was at his house today. Can you believe he was inside the house, but he told his men to tell me he's not around. Are you serious? He did? I knew he was going to come to this, but I didn't expect him to handle it like this. What? Do you have any idea why he's avoiding me? I've always known I'm not good for him. That was why I helped him. I was just trying to be honest. I opened up because he told me I was going to see my people. I didn't want him to hear it from someone else. I have this feeling. That there is something you are not telling me. Can you speak it? Oh boy, you never visit me this late. I hope all is well. Shubu Dinibu, I came to find out what is happening between you and Aisha Zona. You confided in me that you love her so much. And that you wanted to make her your wife. I, I want to find out. Have you suddenly changed your mind? Oh, boy, my friend. It is not like that. It is not. He told me that you practically avoid her these days. I wouldn't have believed. But then again, I have witnessed it myself. 
it is very glaring to me that you are avoiding her. And I want to find out. Uh, what is going on? I, I really wish that this was not happening. I wish. And the worst part is that there's, there's nothing I can do about it. She would enable, what did she do? I cannot tell you that which bothers my heart. You see, men who are men do not judge people based on their past actions. Echezona has lived with me for a very long time now and I can tell you that I know her very much. Whatever mistakes she may have made as a, as a teenager growing up has no bearing whatsoever with what she has become now as a young woman. We all do make mistakes. She told you? Yes, she told me. That your attitude towards her changed the very moment she told you of the mistakes she made as a teenager. I don't understand. What? Well, wait. I don't know what to do. It's very difficult for me to accept. It's very hard and this is not just about me. It's about my future in Urun Nebo, my land. Chukwudu Nebo. That maiden is weakened. That maiden is almost ruined. And I see her taking her life. And if that happens, I want you to understand that you shall be held responsible. That maiden was on her own when you came to her with promises of love. With how you, you, you wanted to take good care of her. You brought her over and she started to love you. She gave you herself and what did you do? You abandoned her. And I came here this night to tell you something. That if that maiden takes her life on the account of this wickedness of yours, the same God of Uru Nebo that you speak highly of, we never ever forgive you for systematically destroying an innocent maiden. This is why I came here this night to look you into the face and tell you all this. And I want you, I want you to ponder on those words. Good night. I don't understand why you're still carrying this face. Have I not apologized? And have I not accepted your apology? Then brighten up, Amaka. This is not the face I used to know. Hmm? Set. This is a city. If you want to set, you can set. So why are you here? Nee. I came with good news. Chiku Dinibu had jitted his palm wine cellar of a maiden. What? I mean, how? The last thing I heard was he proposed to her. So what did that happen? That was the news till he discovered something ugly about her. She is after one. After one? What do you mean by that? As a teenager, she became a mother. She has a child in Akini. Oh, poor Ichizu. I pity her. But is that why you're happy? Listen, Chikubi, this could happen to anyone. Yes. Mm. At least, I stand a chance of winning him back. <laughs> you stand a chance of winning him back. So you're not tired already? You're not tired? If I were you, my dear, hmm? I will find a way to reconcile with one madi that loves you so much and wants to even make you his wife. And then, 
when the chance when we need him back. I beg, drop that angle. I heard Izuki is coming with his people soon. Yes, sir. He is. And very soon I'll be his wife. Thank God he's doing well with the money that Chukutinebu settled him with. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. If you like, be there. Please, I can't wait to dress that day. Please welcome. Please you know. What is the problem? Did anyone die? It's about uh, HSONA. What about HSONA? Oh, you see, I went to supply meat to Obo. And he told me that she ran away. She has returned to Aki. Did he tell you? He doesn't know. Let me see. You seem to be avoiding her lately. Is everything okay? You are a man that has the blessing of the gods. But as we speak, sincerely, I don't think that's really still the same. Why would you say such a thing? Why would you speak this way, woman? You made that girl to love you. You told her in your honor that the love both of you have for one another is so strong that nothing will come to give both of you. She started to trust you. She started to believe in you and she opened up to you about her past. Because she sees you as a, 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 man, of, a man of honor. What did you do? Did you use that information against her by abandoning her? I did not abandon her. I was shattered by the information. I told you about my ambitions and how her status would interfere. Don't, don't, don't tell me that. What are you saying? You made her get to love you. You told her here in your honor. What do you think? That she is everything to you. What did you do? You don't have the decency to tell her to her face that it's not going to work out between both of you. You don't have the decency to do that. Listen to me. I am telling you to your face that what you did is not what a man of noble quality like you to do. And I am telling you now that I am disappointed in you. Very, very disappointed in you. What nonsense. What have you come here to do again? What? Please, I really need your help this time. I now have a better chance of making him mine. You think so? Yes, yes. Then what has changed? The road has been cleared. The maidens are withdrawing one after the other. He has broken his marriage plan with the maiden from Aki. Now what do you want Odogu Nagwabu to do for you? As we speak, he is in a vulnerable state. He is shattered by his loss. So I think this is the best time for me to finally capture his heart. Love they say is a powerful medicine. When a man truly falls in love, he falls deeply. You can make him fall in love with you naturally. You had a chance of making him fall in love with you and you lost it.
Please, I promise you, I will make proper use of it this time. Please, just give me one last chance. Please, I won't fail. Go and never return. Odogu Nagwogu, we have nothing to do with an unserious and careless mind like you. Please. Asif am kam no ro we mo obi mama we ngwi bi alona ndo mo Akwata royal no so e better royal no It is established that our king the easy do of Urunebo kingdom has joined our ancestors The four of you here Standing before the dual tree are all equally qualified to rule over our great kingdom. But as you all know, only one person must become the king. And that person is the one who can lift the sacred staff of the king. Staff of Idu is your problem. Must they involve the staff of Idu? Are you afraid of the staff? Not exactly. But we had kings that reigned with, without the staff. Pray it happens that way. If they involve the staff of Idu, run for your life. The staff can kill if your hands are not clean. You know why I am here. I need to be guided. You are one step from being a king of your land. The gods hold you. But there could be an obstacle. The staff of Idu. It has always been a limiting factor to many that aspire to be kings. Could you please explain that to me? The star of Idu is a symbol of strength. It is always used to test any spiritual strength of any man who has aspired to be a king of your land. Many are out, but only one survives. You speak plainly because I really would like to reign as a king in Irunebo someday. Only the mighty man have been able to lift it and leave. If definitely you will require to touch the staff of Idu to emerge as a king of your land, then you must examine yourself. Don't touch it if you're not sure of your spiritual purity because it will actually kill you instantly if you toy with it. The staff of a duel is powerful and intimidating. It can kill or honor in your life even if you are drunk. Do not toy with the sacred staff of Idu. I know I'm from the royal lineage of Uru Nebo, and one day I might be required to rule as king, but how can that happen without the sacred staff? You're a young man that take advantage of maidens. Just pray that the sacred staff of Idu is not in the picture, because if he does, I'm afraid Something disastrous might happen.
not only the brave, but the spiritually pure can do this and live. So I want you all to search your conscience. Are you prepared for this epoch making history? The process starts now. I withdraw from the race because I cannot continue with this process. I know what the secret staff of Idu represent. I equally withdraw. I didn't know it will result to this test of purity. I equally with you. You go to the book. You are the only one standing. Are you the one chosen by the gods to lead our great kingdom? I have lived and worked hard all my life for the strong. The opportunity is here, and I can't give up out of fear. You go to the book. Prove to all that you are the chosen one. Lift this secret staff of office. And once it's proven that you are the chosen one, we shall proceed to the next phase. Go on, lift it! A bombard dreaded woman. The only woman who communes with our ancestors through the streets. You are the only one who could try this and get away with it. Why did you stop the process? I am here with a message from our ancestors. Which is? Chukudinibu, who only lifts the sacred staff after he must have gone to Ire to pick Odudueze from the Chosen of the Gods. Kings emerge in Urunebu after picking Odudueze from Ire Kingdom. That is the message from the Gods and they expect it follow to the later. A bombard dreaded woman. We don't come here to give God message. If you were not sent by the gods. Before I hurt her, go and get the desert. Once you have it in your hands, then we shall proceed to the next phase. Brother, what are you insinuating? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just wondering why the chief priest did not know about it before Abomma came. Did he tell you that he didn't know anything about it? No, no, he did not. But if he did, he would have said something. I mean, I was just about to raise the staff before she interfered. Abomma is like the mouthpiece of our ancestor. I know her very well to say she's a very nice woman. Approach her. Ask for more assistance. She might even decide to accompany you to Ibe. You really think she would do that for me? Brother, do not keep looking down on yourself. You are easy Idu in making. Go to her 
Solicit for assistance. You never can tell what will happen next. You have a point. Let me give it a try. Ever since you came back from Usli and established yourself here in our land, if you refuse to look at the maidens of this land, I keep presenting for your consideration. Ukukweka, my sister. Let me understand you. Let me understand what you're trying to say. Now that our land is in a very crucial state, that I'm supposed to be planning on how to collect the Ududweze and become king, you want us to stand here and discuss maidens? Really? My brother, now that it is certain that you emerge as the next king, you need a wife. I am sure that is what the chief priest had in mind when he mentioned the next phase. Forget about the maiden of Aki you lost in Usi and settle for a maiden here in our land. <laughs> Must be mine to sit on that throne. My darling sister, if you do not bother about my affairs, who will? Huh? Who will? I understand. Thank you for everything. But we have to take it one step at a time. One thing after the other. Thank you. The are you sure? Must think about it. You are one, Lisa. The chosen one. You have no idea what we have gone through to come before you today. Why are you making us doubt the whole process? I have been expecting this visit, but the gods have already told me about the brave and powerful man that will arise to rule Urunebo. If you must succeed, then you must not doubt someone like me. We have come a long way. I naturally wouldn't have been part of this mission, but I elected to come because of the way he pleaded. I want you to tell me everything you know about the process. I must admit before you that I do not know everything. Chosen one, is he going to be the next king? There are powers I need to consult. They must approve before I speak. All I know is that a great man will rule Urunnebo soon. As you said already, He's brave and powerful, and he has all the qualities of a good king. We are here because he must pick Ududuese from here to lift the staff of the king. I shall call you to join me. so young to be the chosen one. That young man is the chosen of the gods. He is not even from Ire. Are you serious? Where is he from? Come forth. Good in the world. Smile. How was it? The sacrifice was successful. <laughs> Chukudi Nebo is truly that great king that Urun Nebo has been waiting for. <sighs> May the gods be blessed. 
I have gotten all the confirmation that I need. And there is nothing that will stop me from giving him the good blessing now. That was the thunder of extended truth. What do you mean by that? The gods have a message for me. I don't like that look. What message have you brought from the gods? Look up. We must lower the dresser. We just rainbow in the sky. Really? That is the decree of the gods. The dresser must not be lowered for a possible handover when there is still rainbow in the sky. So what shall we do? We must wait till the rainbow disappears. Even if it takes the whole day? Even if it takes the whole year, we must wait. It's getting late already, yet the rainbow is still in the sky. You have the chosen one. You must remain here till the Ududuese is given to you. And you? Are you going to stay with me for that long? My job here is finished. I have the works of my ancestors to attend to. When you are given the Ududuese, return with the good news. So you plan to leave me here all by myself? Is the next king of Urunewa afraid? Even the enemies know that I fear no one. Then you must remain here. The gods are with you. I must leave now. I will inform the chosen one that I'm leaving. It's not the most important thing. What matters is that you have the dress in your position. I am very glad. Once again, I congratulate you. Thank you, chosen one. Dinner will soon arrive. <laughs> I can see the chosen one is happy today. I told you food will soon arrive. Is this, is this really you? You know each other? What are you doing here? I thought, I thought you were supposed to be at Akihi. Do not do it. I am the chosen one of the gods. You know it's dangerous to leave my presence when I did not dismiss you. I need to know what's going on here. I am glad my son is the one helping you achieve your goals. Your son? Who is your soul? The chosen one. 
He is that child I had when I was a teenager. He is the one the gods have chosen to work for them. What? He is the reason you rejected me. He is stupid in you. Stupid in you? Did you not tell me that you met that particular Tupu Dinobo at the city? He only lived there. But he's from Murunibu. You mean... Oh. I don't want to believe this. Is this not a small word? She's the last person I expected to see her. The gods are wise indeed. The same boy that is the reason why you rejected her turned out to be the one that will give you the thing you need to become a king. What an irony. The same reason why I thought that being with her would ruin my chances of being king turned out to be the anchor that I need. Hey. Uh, and you say she's not married? She said that as soon as she returned to Aki and learned that her son was the chosen one by the gods of the earth, she vowed never to marry. Rather, she decided to stick by her son and take care of him. Does it mean you don't have any chance of being with her again? From what I saw, I doubt she will ever consider me again. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oduko was at the meeting when he came to invite the men of a city to his coronation. He told me everything. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I knew it. I could almost feel it. Take a break. Are you sure you're good? What are you talking about? You see, I knew there was something special about him. Just that I couldn't lay my hands on it. Now you see, he's a king. Chick, <laughs> the most times when you talk, you amaze me. Yes, but don't tell me you're still crushing him. Forget that, my dear. Who have you chosen to be his wife? I don't know. Nobody knows. Maybe we'll soon find out. We don't know yet. How I wish they will allow him marry from anywhere. It's surely the kind of man I need as my husband. Jacob, I would so appreciate it if you talk responsibly. Yes. You're now with one, Madi. You shouldn't be dreaming of any other man. Please. Thank you. Please and please and please. Be careful with your choice of it. Drag me down to your neighbor. Just look around. Is there any maid in here that can beat me to that? You always think you know everything, yet you know nothing. Yes. I take that to be an insult. How could you say a thing like that? Here you are, hoping that the emerging king will pick you today. While it's already known to everybody in the village that he took a wife yesterday. Yes.
I hate that movie with so much passion. Is it okay? What for? She sure don't know what she's planning. I'm sure she's here to throw herself at him. I don't know when she would ever give up. Huh? That makes both of you. This prince made us for sale. We will not give up on a man that his destiny is somewhere else. Today is a very special day in the lives of our people. The day when the gods have decided to show us that they, in their infinite wisdom, are wiser than us. Their ways are better than our ways. Their vision for us is much bigger than us. By the gods, before my coronation today, I want to present to you all Echezana, my queen. By the gods, we were wedded yesterday. 
So from today henceforth, she will rule by my side as your queen. By the powers vested on me as the chief priest of Urunebo Kingdom, I, Ogwef Agubanze, hereby crown you Ezi Anundi Modulo, the Ezi Idu, the 16th of Urunebo Kingdom. May your reign bring peace, joy, and tranquility into our kingdom. What are you doing here? What are you doing here yourself? 
Listen, Uchechi. Something very deep happened back there. And I need time to reflect on my way forward. Excuse me. Uzoma. Oh. Can you exempt yourself from blame? Can you? Maidens of Osili stayed away from Urunibo because they know I should be the one. But no, you couldn't stay back. You brought your cursed body to this place. You are the one that is cursed over and over again, and not me. Nonsense. You never see anything good in life. Uzoma, stay away from me. Stay far, far away from me and all that concerns me. If you ever cross my path again, I'll kill you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When one door closes, another door will open. Chuko Dinibo is married now, and there's nothing both of us can do about it. I will go back and reconcile with my Okutini. What about you? Do you have anywhere to hide? Do you have any man of your own? You have nothing! So you are cursed and cursed forever. Rubbish. Nonsense. Didn't you see me? What is it? I am on my way to your house. Oh. Well, as you can see, I'm heading to the farm. So why are you here? I, 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 I was coming to your house to say hello, to know how you're doing. Like I earlier said, I have to be at the farm now before the sun comes out. Um, I'm not busy today. Can I come with you no, to the no. farm? Don't come to the farm with me. As a matter of fact, today should be the last time you ever stop back and say hello to me. I have to say hello. Hey, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool, please. Please don't act like this, people. We have come a long way. Of course. Eh? We have come a long way in being strangers. Or ultimately enemies. Come, stay away from me. Oh, good day. Come down the floor. Thank you for making me a father. I should be the one saying that. Obi, mm -hmm. thank you for making me a wife. And now a proud mother. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is a sound ceremony. I have not asked me the name I will call my son. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's your duty to name your son. I wanted to wait till tomorrow so that I will know the name him. You make me happy whenever you say that. You are really a gift from the gods. And I will love you forever. I promise to love you too. So tell me, what name should I expect tomorrow? Hmm. To 
people the name of What? That's a surprise I will give to my people tomorrow. I will name him after a great man because I want my son to be great. The baby cries. You come. What a great name. Asa is a sacred tradition practiced by our Osili people. Seven days after a child is born, the people will gather, make merry, and then name the child. This ancient ceremony clears the way for the child and banishes the spirit of death. I am not happy that all your mates are married and doing a sound one for they are young and you're still here. Why are you telling me all of this? Why? You know I am a wounded woman right now. And I need all the concentration I can get to reinvent myself. Ujeji, how can you talk about reinventing yourself when your beauty cannot attract credible suitors to yourself? Please, I need you to get married because it's becoming an insult. Insult? Yes. What insult, mother? Mother, are you trying to frustrate me into marrying just any man simply because you need me to be married? Is that what you're trying to do? Do you have a man to show? Do you? Sensible maidens don't put all their eggs in one basket. Uchechi, that's exactly what you did. Mother, I am destined for greatness. And I know that great man will come one day. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Onye, who's that? It's me, Odogune Pempe. Greetings. What do you want? Fetcher, Fetcher, or Dara Wau. Now we did a merry. And what do you mean by that? All our men have decided that no one will marry Chichi. They say that Chichi started them. And now she must remain unmarried. And what have you come to do? To pass the information? Oh well, I have heard you. Ah, Oduguna Pemper of Osiri. I have come to bear the cards. Accept to marry me. All your problem will be solved. Dara Mecha. Goma. Oh. Oh, Chechi. Deal with this. <laughs> You have come to marry me. I came with this drink to announce my intention. I'm the only hope now. I'll be right back. Be more